We're at Crop Connect 2020 here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I'm Kelvin Hepner, and pleased to be joined here in uh, the Real Ag Studio now by Dean Taves, a farmer in uh, the McGregor, Manitoba area, and a director with the Manitoba Corn Growers Association. And Dean, I know it's been a topic that's been up for discussion frequently over the years, again at uh, the Corn Growers Annual Meeting here at uh, Crop Connect, and that is uh, the availability of natural gas infrastructure in, uh, in rural Manitoba. Can you fill us in on what uh, kind of what set the stage? What the the context is for uh, for natural gas availability right now? Well, there definitely is um, uh, issues with getting natural gas for availability to to a lot of farms, and and because of it being such a wet fall, there was a lot of uh, price discrepancies between uh, drying with propane and natural gas. So the the tendency was to to look towards a cheaper way of, of drying grain. And uh, so if you don't have access to, to the natural gas, then that's going to be an issue. Yeah, and in a year like this where the corn, I think every bushel of corn came off wet. Yes, very uh, wet. There's a lot more money being spent on drying that grain than yep. in, a, in a dry year. Yep. And yep. so then that three or four time multiple that you're paying for propane is, uh, it makes... The, the financial hit is a lot har- harder than it would be for natural gas. That's right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the spread, and then you add the carbon tax to that, yeah. You add the carbon tax, yeah. That's something we weren't going to talk about. <laughs> that's a different story. <laughs> okay. uh, do you have natural gas on your farm? We have a natural gas uh, pipe running past our farm, uh, but they priced it in such a way that we're unable to to budget it in. There's no programs, no incentives, and, uh, and it's going to be... Yeah, around two hundred thousand for three hundred feet of line, which Ooh. is which is unreasonable in our in yeah our books. So, why why is it so hard to expand natural gas access or the infrastructure in in southern Manitoba? I know there are a few municipalities in the southeast that a decade or two ago, or maybe longer, I'm not sure on the history of it, but they invested in uh, in natural gas access similar to the water infrastructure in the area. Other yeah. parts of the prairies, I believe, have some of that too maybe more so in Alberta, but it seems like the rest of southern Manitoba where we farm, where there's farming country, natural gas availability is sparse, maybe you're luck- if you're lucky on a line running to a town somewhere. That's right. It seemed, seemed like there was an initiative 10, 15 years ago on, on getting natural gas, and then it just fizzled out, the money ran out, whatever the programs were, governments changed, and, uh, and everything just quit. And so there's, there's lots of places where there's just dead-end lines that could be expanded, but between the RMs, the different levels of bureaucracy, they're not able to to get a system in place. Yeah, and so it's very difficult right now. And it's not a supply si- issue. Nope. At least we hear about how ample the natural gas supplies are in North America right, right now. Yeah, and yeah. from an environmental perspective, natural gas is is one of the greener options when it comes to burning a fossil fuel. Essentially a byproduct. Yeah. Yeah. So Tracking. there. You, yeah. Exactly. So. I guess the question is, what's what's holding this back, or what, <laughs> why does Manitoba Hydro, who oversees the natural gas service across across Manitoba, what's uh, what's stopping them from expanding this? I that is a great question. <laughs> <laughs> Putting I think, you on the spot. Yeah, I. But, yeah, it, no it just seems like there's um, uh, being a again opinion is is with the Crown Corporation. There's just lack of initiative there and and uh, I don't know it's it's frustrating okay so now that it came up at the corn growers meeting uh, where do you go from here in terms of a, a group as a group you bring it up well, with the ag minister I guess yeah yeah different levels of government again and and uh, and it also needs to start with the uh, rural municipalities and getting behind the farmers and then take it to the next level and I think as the as the voices grow, then there's potential for change, okay. and uh, and hopefully we can get to the right right level of government to to help promote uh, efficient drying of, of any grain. And corn is is our main focus, but uh, a lot of different grains were dried this last fall, so it's not just a corn issue. Yeah, and to me, just to as a final thought here, Dean, from a economic development perspective we have a provincial government that's focusing on uh, value-added processing in uh, in manitoba in rural parts of manitoba as well all those things go hand in hand with having access to an energy source oh for sure and that starts with uh, 
just the basics of hydro and we talked about water that that's that's also infrastructure and outdoor gas is just part of it and you you look at uh, what it takes to truck propane around the countryside there's there's a lot of activity that needs to happen when you got a simple pipe in the ground just so simple mm -hmm. and uh, and safe yeah. and so it's 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 the ideal alternative to propane and uh, and farmers are willing to pay for that product it's not we're asking for free but these hookup fees are are just exuberant beyond what what is uh, economical yeah and it's not consistent that's the other thing uh, you hear stories one guy's getting charged ten thousand dollars the next guy's two hundred thousand so so it it seems like even within their own system they don't have a system like it's it's, it's not consistent. random yeah. yeah which makes it hard to hard to bank on or hard to figure out whether you should invest in it that's not. right yeah. yeah so yeah all right well not sure we came up with any real good answers or <laughs> or uh, solve this problem but certainly shed some light on uh, on what the problem is so thanks yeah. for your time Dean. okay no problem.